is going on, everybody? Zerk Tick here, and I would like to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and an upcoming Happy and New Year. Hope you guys had a great holiday, whatever you celebrate. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all those other ones. Like I said, I'm ignorant to other holidays besides Christmas because I'm ignorant. <laughs> um, so I want to apologize, first of all, for... Um, two videos with the exact same map. I hate doing that. That's just something I dislike doing. I hate uploading two videos in a row with the same map, but it is what it is. And uh, we're playing some Game Lab Assassinate. This is actually the match I mentioned in my previous video where I said, oh, do you guys want to see this 20k? I think it would kind of be boring. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much, there are times in this video where it looks like I'm playing Wolfpack. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and I am in no way, shape, or form saying that I'm good because I bashed on these noobs. I am not good because I bashed on these noobs at all. They were just inexperienced players. They didn't understand the game mechanics or just didn't understand the game lab. Because like I said, this is game lab assassinate. And I was just taking advantage of the fact that they couldn't stun. So if I locked first, I went up to them, got some focuses. Sue me. It was a good time. <laughs> but um, this is just some background noise. What I actually wanted to discuss in this video today was next-gen consoles now I have been lucky enough to possess both next-gen consoles well not ex not exactly my little brother has the Xbox one and I have the PS4 and I have been lucky enough to get them both I, I consider myself lucky because I know a lot of people out there have not had the luxury of getting e even one of the next-gen consoles let alone both of them so that's why I say lucky um, but Anyway, yeah, so I've had the luxury of uh, being able to play with both, get both, and uh, had some hands-on experience with both. Not so much the Xbox, my little brother has been, you know, he was doing most of the stuff and I was just, um, you know, watching him. He loves the fact that he can talk to his Xbox and all that. So, um, let's, let's get into it, let's talk a little bit about him. I'm going to first talk about the Xbox since I actually hooked that up for him be, uh, first before my PS4 because, you know, he's the little brother, he wants to get all the, he wants to get on the game, he just wants to play, so I was... Hooked it up for him. Um, so we got, you know, we hooked it up. It was actually very simple. Um, no issues, nothing like that, really. Um, and he was just ex uh, experimenting with the voice commands and stuff, which are very responsive, surprisingly. There, you know, obviously there's going to be some hiccups, but for the most part, the Xbox One's voice commands are very, very responsive. They, um, it, it does work. Um, now the downside is that we have the Xbox One hooked up in his room which is not very big and the Xbox seems to be more of like an entertainment area you would put that in your main living area of the house so it's kinda weird it still works in his room and everything but you know that's that's the type of thing you put in the main vicinity of your house at least in my opinion that's how I would hook it up because you can watch Netflix and all that other stuff Netflix uh, you know uh, Hulu uh, all the all the, the TV entertainment bullshit that the kids watch these days you know what I mean so you can do all that good stuff um, it, it, it's it's very good. It, I, I like it a lot. I actually I really like the voice commands. Like you could just either sit down right in front of your TV and it knows your face and it turns on and Xbox snap to Bing and Xbox. I mean it does. It's really good. I like it a lot. Um, it's it's a very 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 good console. I definitely recommend it to anybody who's uh, who who is looking to get a console. Um, so yeah, um, PS4, which I've had more hands-on experience with because this is actually my console, um, I received, uh, being, uh, transferring my uh, account from PS3 to this was as simple as adding a new account on your PS3. You know how you, on PS3 you could add multiple accounts? Well, it's literally exactly that simple on the uh, PS4. It's as if you're adding a new account to the console. It's one, two, three, easy process, no problem. So that setup was very, very easy. Um, the the dashboard if you will or the 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 main area of the PlayStation I don't know what we would call that um it's very quick very responsive for those of you who have had the PlayStation 3 you guys know how desperately we wanted it to be quick responsive and 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 all that good stuff and it is it is it is exactly what you want um haven't had the chance to test out the party feature and all that but for the most part it runs so much smoother and better than the PS3. That was the big downfall of the PS3 compared to the Xbox. The Xbox was very responsive on the dashboard. You pressed it, it did what you wanted it to do. You press, you know, right trigger, whatever. It slides to the right, it slides to the left. It did it instantaneously. PS3, it took like an hour to load. You, If you were in-game, God forbid you were in-game and you wanted to send a text chat. It would take a year and a day. So um, it is so much better now. 
I've had the chance to mess around with it. Um, I downloaded AC4 onto it. Basically, you have to have the PS3 version of AC4 into your disc when you upgrade to the PS4. Um, and I only paid ten dollars for it, but for the most part, it works. Now, here's the downside. There is a downside to this. My PS4 is broken. Um, so basically. The way the PS4 works is you turn it on, and it blinks a few times blue light, and then it stays a steady white light. Now, my PS4. I was playing uh, AC4, excuse me. I was playing AC4, and I had recently downloaded... I had purchased some Erudito credits, and I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> and uh, I had downloaded two champion packs. Um, as I was, And then I had purchased the seven-day... Uh, pl um, Abstergo Plus thing, the seven day one, with my Iridito credits. As soon as I go to customize my champion packs, the fucking PS4 turns off and then it hears like a, a flat line. It goes, be like it died. Like, you know, when a human dies and they're hooked up to the monitor and you hear the line, it goes, be this is what my PlayStation 4 did. It went off, be I, I was a little scared. So I reset it, waited a few few seconds maybe a minute or two turned it back on it's blinking blue blinking blue infinitely blinking blue infinitely blinking blue infinitely blinking blue so I, I wait I wait another hour or whatever turn it back on again still infinitely blinking blue for those of you who don't know the PS4 what it does is it blinks blue and then turns white and then when it turns white that means the console is turned on well it's not turning white it stays blinking blue 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 I've tested it um, I waited, you know, like I said, I waited an hour, then I went to sleep, woke up the next morning to see if I needed it, you know, to, to wait a few, few more hours, I guess, or whatever. Nothing. Still, when I turn it on, it blinks blue. So, I just repackaged it back in the box, everything is back nice and neat, and I've got to send it back. Motherfucker. So, that's the worst thing that could have happened. I would have liked if it, if I turned it on and it didn't work, because then I wouldn't have experienced it and I wouldn't be teased. Now it's like I'm being teased. And I freaking purchased the Abstergo Plus um, thing for seven days. And that was a waste of money because I'm not going to get this back in seven days. I know that. I know that I'm not going to get it back. I'm going to get it back in like six weeks. Um, so I am slightly pissed about that. Um, I'm more pissed that I wasted money than anything else. Not, you know, because I feel like I did. I feel like I wasted money on those those credits. Or I wasted the credits, I guess, on the seven-day thing. Um so it is really unfortunate. It was only, you know, whatever, $10. But still, you're wasting money. It's bullshit. But, you know, it is what it is. That's my story. Um, as far as both next-gen consoles, whether you're a Sony fanboy or a Microsoft fanboy, or you just love gaming, you're, you're not going wrong with either of them, in all honesty. The only thing that you have to think about is uh, uh, exclusives. That's it. But um, the PlayStation exclusives I'm more for. I feel like uh, PlayStation is a little bit more catered towards games, and um, Xbox is more catered towards entertainment. That's actually pretty much a given. Um, there's it's more emphasis on TV and movies and games, where PlayStation is more focused on games. But it all depends on what type of games you like to play and all that stuff. They're both very quick, very responsive. Um, as far as that type of stuff goes, as far as you know. Like I said, responsiveness and all that stuff, it, they're pretty much on par with each other in my experiences with the two for a day. So <laughs> I haven't experienced them for like a week or whatever. So that's obviously you guys got to find somebody else to um, to ask about that. But from what I personally have experienced, they've been great. I just had the unfortunate side effect of having a bum PS4. Motherfucker. <laughs> really pisses me off. Um... But whatever. Um, for the most part, you know, I, I'm, I've said this in the past. I'm a very spoiled person. I pretty much get everything I want because I work hard for it and I get it. So, you know, when I get something and it doesn't necessarily work out and I have to wait a little longer, I'm not, I'm not too bothered by it because, like I said, I'm spoiled. I would be a motherfucking asshole if I were here like, oh my god, this is bullshit, da 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 da. Um, I've been raised better than that. <laughs> but um yeah that's my story what do we got here we got <clears throat> excuse me we got uh 50 seconds left sorry if there was a cut in the commentary there i was being called upon but what do we got we got like 43 seconds left i saw the dandy throw the money bomb so i know it's him but i'm looking for the other person that's here so i can take care of both of them at once 
the uh, mercenary kills an NPC, so I go for the hidden, and then the cutthroat runs out of the blind group. I throw time phase, lock him mid kill animation, and then for whatever reason I kill the dandy because I saw the dandy throw the money bomb before, but I just realized that that was one of those two characters in disguise. Son of a bitch. And I was not expecting this firebrand, by the way, to have me locked like I had her locked. I guess her interactivity was um, enabled quicker than mine was. Bullshit. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the match, guys. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I hope you enjoyed the noob bashing. And um, I hope you had a great holiday. And if I don't upload a commentary before the new year, I hope you have a happy new year. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.